That's I'm not ideal. We, we have we have public transit, y'all. You don't it's need to struggle that much. <laughs> We're in this together, guys. Come on now. And as you said, it looks like Alternus is going the tried and true Mac. Mm. That's what he's known for. So usually, actually, this is one of those interesting ones where, like, for a long time, Peanut had all the notoriety, but yes. Alternus was actually the better Mac in the region. Nowadays, I genuinely don't know. They seem to be on similar levels. Peanut's had a little bit more um, results sticking with solo Mac. Yes. Meanwhile, Alternus has had just as good results, but he, he tends to go Terry or other characters nowadays. Yeah, it's a difference of uh, breadth versus depth true, in how you want to play true. with those characters. And, I mean, when they meet, Alternus opts to go someone that isn't Mac. He doesn't do the ditto. The ditto is awful, so I do not blame him. Yeah, so, I mean, hey, using the tools that you are just decide to use is, is perfectly reasonable. And as we say that, I mean, speaking of tools, mm -hmm. Steve's going to be on screen. How do you think that it factors in the mining game when there's two people on screen and they're ready to play aggressive like that? It's going to be a little bit more difficult for Lily to go ahead and build up materials, but the aggression that this character offers in Steve is unparalleled. As soon as you get your setup going, you can go ahead and clean up multiple stocks incredibly easily. Makes sense. As we say, that looks like Blue Team is starting off decently strong with the stage control game, but Dead and Dark Wizzy are perfectly comfortable kind of sectioning these two off and playing them one-on-one -on -one scenarios. It's uh, interesting to see, that's for sure. Oh, that was, uh, I think, Hail Punch by, fire, yeah. by Anvil. Not what you really expect. Back throw, Ned can't quite get the uh, fort here, so instead... Actually, is he going to get that cleanup? That is insane. You're able to go so deep in that matchup, and Ultimus just had to hold back. If he did not DI out, that was an easy stock for Ned. Indeed, but, I mean, the pressure that Ned put out is really immense. Not to mention the Scintilla, that counter can easily shut down Max's side B recovery and we'll just nuke him. So you got to keep that in mind. So all the Max that I've talked to actually think that Mario is a pretty good matchup for them because Mario just can't really like air to air him because of the, these armor on smash attacks. And we're kind of seeing that right now. Like Alternus is just swinging on Dark Wizzy and he's oftentimes giving more than he's getting. Hey, if it don't broke, don't fix it, sure enough. And as we say that, Leo Lee has Diamond on deck, is causing a lot of trouble here for both parties involved. I like the creativeness there, but not quite finding it. And then getting the no impact landing, just get the block, do the down smash, immediately break and do it again. Oh, just the pressure. Dark Wizzy goes down a bit. Hail Punch is now off for Alternus. And again, we're dividing it into just divide and conquer. Blue team taking control of both sides of the stage here to put pressure on Ned and Dark Wizzy. And one thing that I've been seeing Ned do really, really well is that Ned planks a little bit with this character. Uses the forward air to stick into the stage. Whenever he's in a disadvantageous spot, and it like, could be a 2v1, he is not getting called out. But instead, both players on the blue team getting smacked away as the Wizzy and Ned start to broaden their lead. Only a stock or so right now, but a stock can make all the difference. But right now they're getting juggled a little bit too. Gotta keep that in mind. Even as Alternate says he likes the matchup for Mario, he's still kind of getting thrown about a bit by the Mario up air terrain. Everybody likes the matchup until they get hit with an up air. It's true. That's just how it goes. <laughs> all fun and games until you're in disadvantage, that's for sure. Mm -hmm. Okay, a punch on deck. He hasn't really... Okay, decides to let it rip. I mean, he hasn't had the chance to before. He got interrupted every time. So it makes sense. And for the follow-up with the Diamond F Smash, yeah, if you're going to grab like that. Surprised that didn't actually uh, threaten to kill. The forward tilt actually going to knock him away, but the Ooh. lag on that forward tilt actually claims Alternus' is stock. Such an awkward spot. Anytime you're in the same air as Mario, you know he's going for that back air immediately. Absolutely. Up smash, not going to be enough. Putting pressure on board. Mac, is that going to kill? Not quite. It wouldn't surprise me if it did. Mac up be surprisingly powerful. Agreed, yeah, for no reason, by the way. Yeah. The sliding forward tilt by Alternus claiming the stocks, though, so now this is uh, an awkward position. Leo Lee really needs to make the stock count here, but can't get the Gimp trying out to build a Tetris-style block for Arier to prevent Wizzy from recovering. Making it a hard game, that's for sure. Ned not getting the uh, two-frame down air over on that right side. The back air from the Diamond Pickaxe will be more than enough to take Wizzy's stock. So this is a last stock scenario for everyone. But Lily's not doing too hot, but KO Punch is on deck. That's the game changer. Oh, for sure. If you get a down tilt KO Punch, and very nearly, he got the down tilt on Ned, but could not quite get the punch. Great DI, and he lets it rip and doesn't connect. Unfortunate for Blue Team, and even as the fall of Lily loses their last stock, so this is now Mac versus the world right now. If I'm being honest, Mac's a pretty good 2v1 character. But the armor can cause a little bit of problems, not to mention the sheer power that he has in the character. Oh, jeez, the Perry, Perry F smash, my what goodness. What a Perry punish from Wizzy. He parried an up tilt and got a forward smash out of it. That is disgusting. That's really strong stuff. <laughs> my goodness, Mr. Mario, man. Calm down. I know your movie's coming out soon, but relax. I don't, we don't talk about the Mario movie. Chris Pat is not my Mario. <laughs> not my Mario, unfortunately. <laughs> You're a big Charles Martinet kind of guy? I, I would I would definitely have... Uh, that, that would have been good to see. Yeah, Though, I, all I, the cast by himself? I'll, alternatively, like there's a couple actors that I could see do that. Danny DeVito would have made a great Mario. Uh, I, I stand yeah. by that that one. Uh, you know what? I'll give you... I'll, that's fair. That's a fair assessment. As we say that, there's no character changes as I can hear. No. 
Makes sense. Uh, Leolis. I mean, everyone kind of has the mains here. I think the only one that might have switched is Alternus. True. But the Mac was still putting in good work. The sliding F tilts, the pressure, not getting a, any KO punches, unfortunately, but that could be remedied. It just feels like the big ticket items that both players, Leo Lee and Aldenus, were looking for did not really come out there. We didn't see, like, Leo Lee walk anybody off stage or get any, like, uh, just block gifts, and Aldenus didn't land those KO punches. If either of those happened, that could match up good have gone completely differently. For sure. Look no. at Aldenus get carried away by Wizzy's combo game. Not to mention, uh, Leo Lee's doing a little bit of a similar thing to Ned. Nothing quite too dangerous, but it's just still something you got to always keep in mind. Oof. I love that little down tilt to get a attack. That's actually dangerous for Alternus, and yeah, he might be dead. Sure yeah, enough. he is. Wizzy just going out as far as he can with that backer to claim the stock. You've got to be careful. That's a KO punch, actually. <laughs> or not a KO punch. That's a stock break. But I'm not actually going to be able to get the kill. I think that uh, Leoli just immediately let the up smash rock without charging it, not really trying to go ahead and get a maximum bun. just want to get something out of it. Would be really hard to punish us with everyone else on screen. So it makes sense you want to just go for the game damage. You don't want to uh, let that opportunity slip. And as I say that, Ned stock going down. Wizzy might be soon to follow with that percentage. Immediate spot dodge down smash, but again, Wizzy's defense is so good. I love it. And still, smart stuff from Red Team so far. KO punch on deck. You can get something early on that Sephiroth. No, okay. it's going to get tossed away and no more KO punch. Yeah, sure enough. <laughs> I Jeez. love Ned. Just immediate back air, back air, back air. Come play with me, please. Amazing air dodge, but you're going to need a little bit more than that, and that's sure enough. Very textbook punish coming in from Ned. Amazing work. That forward tilt killed sub 100. That's insane. That still go burn. That it do. Pretty good move. Ooh, even the reset with the shadow flare. I like it coming in from Ned. And and using the armor. the armor. That's so smart oh, by Alternus. I, I dig that. It. It's really good stuff from these players. What a tech from Ned too. Just getting that handle immediately being into the stage, and then the oh. reflect on the up B, and the up B is actually strong enough that even with that reflect, he's able to take the stock. Still a go dummy, even on Elytra. True. Amazing stuff by there. Double, double hit of the diamond back air. Not gonna kill one, but. Uh, not getting two, but getting one is still something worthwhile, that's for sure. I desperately want to see Wizzy cape and anvil. <laughs> All is getting up. Cool. All right. This is a little bit of a dangerous game for parties involved. Alternus is on death's door right now. He actually waited for that counter, but uh, it's DLC. It has no lag, and then Wizzy's yeah. immediately there to punish. Not the min oh, hey, what are you, uh, you just... That's kind, of, that's kind of rude, bro. Ned that's friends. That, that's your friends teammate. Made. Hey, come on, man. <laughs> your doubles. I don't know, I don't but see have that. the extra stock to spare. Yeah, sure enough. I mean, it, it would have been actually a lot worse if he didn't have the, the spare stock, that's for sure. Trying but to still. get the up tilt in the back here, but that's not going to connect. And now, awkward spot in the recovery. And he goes <laughs> super deep with the spike. That's beautiful by Leo Lee and the mash to match. This isn't out of the realm of possibility for Leo Lee. This is difficult, but this is doable. It's always doable with a character like Steve. I love that using the blocks. Not getting quite what he wanted, getting. Touched just a bit by the up B. No, uh, no iron to play around with, which is huge. Even if he has the diamond, it's the no mine cart, the no anvil is making it a difficult situation for Leo Lee. And just okay, <laughs> you can stall as long as you want. Wizzy just gonna watch it. Eventually, he's gonna find that back air. Leo, like, get over here. Dark Wizzy's like, yeah, okay. Oh yeah, sure, I'll do it. I mean, patience by Dark Wizzy just to say you can go ahead and play out there as long as you want. I'm gonna toss out my minus two back air. And eventually, I will find Burgess. Makes sense. Makes sense. One back more here, time. Mario back here, a good move. But hey, real good move. You talking about clap back here all the time? Yeah, Mario back here, bro. Come on. <laughs> it's I, it, Mar I am. I'm still on my uh, Nerf Ball back here's train, and Mario back here is one of them. It, it is just absurd how there's so little that you can do to punish it. Not only because of the fact that it's really, really good on shield, but also because of the hurt box manipulation. It makes it really hard to tell if he's going to cross you up with it. Makes sense. Ooh, Ooh got the Mac stage going on? Yeah, get that theme going. Go. Pump yourself up, Alternus. Again, no character changes here. Riding with the Mac, riding with the Steve, versus, of course, then Dark Wizzy on the Mario and the Sephiroth, and they're up 2-0 right now. Now on to Final D as the stage pick, so no long extended platform reset combos here from Wizzy. But I do like he's done that a couple times now, where he just runs up and then capes the wall of blocks. It's like, oh, yeah. That's I'll make my own door, thank you very much. I like Alternus using the counter actually on Octa Slash. A lot of pressure coming in and surprisingly smart. better start for Alternus, Wizzy, but oh my goodness. Filthy, filthy Mario main. Immediately toss him off stage and hit him with the capes. Like, no, you're going out, not in. With the, it even tried it again there, <laughs> just doing him dirty. 
<laughs> I don't want to interact. I want you to die at zero. You did it to yourself. It's your own fault. And G is getting comboed all over the place now, even by his own teammate. That's I say that literally getting blasted by Mario F Smash. This is not going the way Blue Team plans, Scabs. No, a couple early stocks, and now the question becomes: Can we see those comeback factors? Can Leo get a crazy string going? Can Alternus get a KO punch? Oosh. Everyone getting hit by that Sephiroth factor makes sense. Anvil more than enough to take that stock. Blue Team's on the board, but it's a long way to go. Alternus looked like trying to fire off the KO button, but we saw Wizzy jump directly over that, so great opportunity there. And hey, that's going to be another stock courtesy of Blue Team, evening it up 4 4. Anything's possible in this thing, and especially, I mean, it, it's just really Just holding rough. the steady. There was no mash right there at all from Alternus, just trying yeah. to hold it off. Just, just waiting for the inevitable, just uh, see what can happen in that time. Waiting for Leo Lee to come back and try to get the hard punish on Mario, I think. Tried for the cape on the anvil that time, so Wizzy. Trying for some tricksies, but not working out. Uh, getting the punish on the Centella this time. Kale Punch on deck right now. Both these players at an insanely high percentage. Hey, just sending him all the way down. Yeah, he just sets up another Edge Trap situation. Whoa. Tries with a Gazelle Punch, but it didn't connect with anything. Was Mario ducking there? I, it looked like he hit the shield, but it was just a weird color splash effect, and nothing really happened. Yeah, that goes through shield usually. That's an interesting scenario. So maybe it was Ariel instead of Grounded that time. Maybe. Did Leonly just kill his teammate? Yes, he did. Very unfortunate. Parry, Minecart, and up smash from Dark Wizzy. All right, take notes, y'all. There is counterplay available. <laughs> just parry. <laughs> just parry. Simply just parry and use your insanely fast up smash with vulnerable head. He needs it. It's true. Ooh, the back oh. air into the forward air. Oh, oh. This, the combo clinic. Oh, even trying to get the follow-up off the Scintilla. I love the synchronization from Red Team working together right now. Even if nothing's quite, uh, not getting those, but still, uh, you love to see the thought process. Forward tilt is going to go oh. ahead and claim that stock, and the KO punch still on deck oh. as soon as I say it. One of the commentators curse coming in for alternates. Unfortunate scenario there. And Alternus is also kind of on death's door here. Has to be really careful. Doesn't want to overextend. He needs to be careful. I like that. Kept the jump, though. Got to be smart with your resources when you're on death's door like this. Another parry and another F smash. The smallest possible window to get these punishes, but Dark Wizzy is making it work and then immediately trying to bust out of that combo. My combo now says Mario up there. Indeed. Take him off stage. Oh, great DI up there by Wizzy. <sighs> trying to get for something tricky there. Not quite finding it. Actually, that's, a, that's an SD from Wizzy. He messes up. This this is close now. All of a sudden, like, what tool is that? Is that iron or diamond? I think that's, that's diamond. iron. That's diamond. Oh, that is diamond. No, we are gonna see a little bit of some power mechanics coming in from. I love our Ned. Boys. I love Ned just standing there. It's like you can flail as much as you want. I'm not gonna run into any of this nonsense. You have to earn your neutral interactions. Unless you just up tilt my shield six times, then maybe I gotta do something about it. And you gotta be careful about the scintilla. You gotta be careful about the mine carts. Both these players could lose so much off of any certain specific hits. Really doing a great job. We're just stalling off there. Blade Dash, of course, just going to send him up. How are you going to punish it? Only is... one piece of iron left here, so the resources are starting to drain a little bit for Leo Lee. <gasps> Dover, that's a dangerous scenario. He just took that thing. My goodness. That's a shield breaker. Oh, okay. Goodbye. No kill, no kill screen, no nothing. You're gone. Ned just waited it out. Leo Lee did not manage to get a single solid string going there. Like, there were a lot of just, like, getting clipped by the mine cards, getting ever so barely hit by, like, a soft or a weak hit. But Ned wasn't going to give it up. You had to earn that stock. And instead, Leo Lee finally had an opportunity where Ned could get those mid-screen punches with the back air. Sure enough. But still, good stuff from that team. Hopefully that uh, Virginia duo will have a little bit more time and a chance to make some problems in that loser's bracket. But until, the, until then, we're going to see Yossi and Ken yep. versus uh, Dark Wizzy and Ned in the winner's finals. But and I think we're going to dip back down into loser's bracket before then. I think that we might actually go directly. To the, yeah, we're going to go directly.